this is HC Bailey. And I've been playing New Vegas. And welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Tensetsu 3! Or if you hear any eating sounds in the background, that's me. I eating lunch right as I do this. But anyway, we have to... Where the hell is the Beast King? Oh, it's way over there. I didn't think it was that far. But yeah, we gotta go over here. You could just walk there if you really wanted to, but... The enemies don't give that good experience. Now this part, like I was saying last time, it's a little different, well, very different, depending on who your main character is. Uh, you'll have to go to one dungeon or another. Uh, because it's Kevin's path or Carly's path, you have to go to the Beast Kingdom. If you're on either Hawk's or Lisa's path, or Angela's and Duran's path, you have to go to different dungeons at this point in the game. Oh, screw that guy. Oh, quit being a wussy. Now one thing about this dungeon, this is probably the hardest of all the unique middle dungeons. We're about half, well, over halfway through the game, but they call this like the midpoint in the game. Uh, yeah, just heal Hawk straight up. But yeah, um, yeah, this is probably the hardest one because a lot of these werewolves have uh, those level 3 techs, like uh, Surayu Death Fist, that's the one I remember the most. Uh, let's see, there's one Bayako something, I don't know. But yeah, you gotta look out for Bloody Wolf, and what was the other one? There's another one that you oftentimes uses techs, I forget which one it is. The Silver Wolf you gotta watch out for, because uh, they can heal their allies. So, gotta be a little careful for that. I don't remember there being nearly this many enemies here. Yeah, I know. Where are these guys coming from? It's like they're sending the whole army at- Or, well, I guess I guess they are, but... They're sending this the whole is, army after me. This is their nation. Yeah, it's... Oh yeah, Wolf Devil, that was the name of the one. Okay, now let's go up here. Okay. Wolf Devil, Wolf Devil? Uh, no? No. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong room. Sorry. Oh, I thought you liked going to dead ends. There's uh, a lot of dead ends in this area. I'm not going to explore every single one of them. Not this time around. Just like I did with, uh, what was that, Rolante there. Yeah, we're not going to explore every single one. I'm just going to direct you guys straight to where we got to go. Okay. Besides, this area is hard. <laughs> So far, we've been pretty lucky. Uh, don't use your level 2 techs here. Do not. Eh, too bad we don't got any silverware. <laughs> yeah, that worked pretty well. The zombies ate my neighbors. Yeah, one shot of them, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. But yeah, if you run into bloody wolves or wolf devils, then use water jitsu on them. Oh, that won't hurt too much. Yeah, we're fine. But yeah, use water jitsu on them, or some sort of crowd control, or something to deal with them. Because they will kill you if you don't take them out. Would this be a good place to level grind because of that stuff? No! No! These guys are hard. You'll get into a room sooner or later. If you level grind against these guys, you'll get into a room with these guys, and they'll use like two Sarayu Death Fists on you, and there's no way you're going to be able to deal with them. Yeah, do not level grind here or the other wolf-related area. Let's see, poison. Nuts. <laughs> so, yeah, this is one reason why I did that level grinding way back, because... Well, so far we're pretty lucky here, but... Yeah, this area can be pretty hard if you run into the wrong werewolves. I'm... We're just doing pretty good here so far. Hey, hey, all right, go for, um, uh, I guess you have to go to, for Vitality. I go for Agility. By the way, if, uh, at about this point in the game, if you do not have Hawk in your party, you probably want to invest in Luck for someone, probably Carly or Angela. The ladies seem to have better Luck than most of the guys other than Hawk. So you may want to start investing in that because we're going to try and get some item drops from certain enemies. So, you just gotta make it all the way over here. It's gotta be kinda weird going here with just Carly and 
Not Kevin. Huh. Sure, we'll trust you. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Uh, you're trying to take over the world? Aren't you? That's gonna be like the only time they ever actually move a sprite <laughs> on the screen or a part of the background. Yeah, this was high tech stuff back then. You can never do that with pre rendered backgrounds. Yeah, yeah, we, he's taking my sword. Oh. What's Heath doing there? Ha ha! Oh, that's anti-magic. The spell from later in the game. Carly could learn that. It's really good. Hmm, sounds like the Borg. Hmm. Nuts. What oh. third phase? That's we got, we got like how many mana beasts did they say there were? Eight? Eight mana beasts? We only had to deal it was hard enough dealing with the one last time. Hmm. Yeah. Well they're god beasts, but same difference. Well, wasn't the mana beasts all of them combined into one? Oh, hmm. Well, these ones are much, much harder. Close your eyes. Watch the end of the world. I love the music they use for this part. Yeah. That can't be good at all. We're going to be going there next, viewers. Just so you know. I say that a lot. Just so you know, just so you know, just so you know. Just so you know, brother. <laughs> well, all the god beasts are coming. No evil tree, though. Hmm? Oh. I was like, wait, what? We got God Beast to deal with now. No. Oh, yeah, it was hard enough in the first game. Or, well, the second game. The last game! Whatever. But anyway, now we have to defeat all eight God Beasts. And you can do them in any order you want. But first, let's go up here. If you've got Kevin in your party, you get a little extra dialogue here. I don't think the Beast King says anything if you don't have Kevin, if it's just Carly. Well, we might as well get our revenge. I mean, we can't save the world. Huh. What do you mean by that? What the? Oh. Well, how can that be? We killed him. We killed you! Ah. Oh. So you buried your dog alive for how long? <laughs> well, you're trying to destroy the world, dude. Or take over the world, or whatever. Well then, why did you tell us that? Doesn't sound like a very good plan. Worked for Goku. Hmm, I guess. Well, we're... Seems like we're doing pretty good. Ah. Well then, why are you working with Death Jester? Okay, let's take him out! Ah. So he was just doing this... Well, he's a good guy. He's not a bad guy. Let's put it that way. 
then why don't you go save the world? Okay, well, anyway, we're done here, and uh, we're just gonna uh, leave Carl behind. Can you uh, just make sure to change the food every now and then, Dad? Thanks. So the plane we couldn't drop you off right there in the first place? Oh, yeah, I suppose not. But anyway, uh, let's see, can I get up here? Okay, we want to head over here, I think. Or somewhere around here. Where the hell is it? Well, anyway, as long as we're in the area, let's go to the nearest town, whatever that is. And, uh, yeah, we gotta rest up, and then we'll head on to take on our first god beast. So... Yeah, let's rest up here, or... Oh, okay, I guess we gotta make it nighttime. Or, we gotta make it daytime and then make it nighttime again, so, uh... I'll just take a moment to do that off-screen, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. So, uh, now, like I said, you can go defeat the God Beast in any order you want, uh, except for the last one. So, but for right now, there's only seven that can deal with. So, and uh, if you listen to the fairy, where is it? Ah, there it is. If you listen to the fairy, she was saying how uh, they'll get stronger as time goes on. What happens... Just ignore these guys, they're worthless. What happens is, each area where the God Beast resides, every time you defeat one of the God Beasts, all the enemies in those areas will increase by two levels. So they'll get harder and harder as it goes along. So the order in which I'm going to take on the God Beasts will take that into account. Basically, what I like to do is I like to go through the harder, for the most part, go through the harder areas earlier, so that way the enemies there don't get that much stronger. Because if you do an area like this one, for example, later, the enemies will kill you! And not because of level 2 or 3 techs either, they are just really damn strong. So, I think this is the closest you can land to get there, so yeah, it is kind of annoying to have to deal with, but oh well. Now watch out for that attack that the Slime Prince used there. It reduces your attack power to like, one. So, uh, when you enter a screen, sometimes you'll have to uh, look out for that. If it hits everyone, then just like leave the screen and re-enter. But, uh, did I get hit with that? I don't think I did. Well, it doesn't matter, but you could also use uh, Stardust Herbs to clear that. But yeah, Slime Prince is one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Not just because of that, but they could also use Poison Bubble, which, deal, which deals a lot of damage to you guys. And there's nothing you can do about it. They're just going to kick your ass no matter what. I mean, you could use Fire Jutsu on them. This is where the Monostone was. You could use Fire Jutsu on them to like reduce their intelligence, and they're also weak to fire. But... Um, what is it? That might cause, I think that might cause them to counterattack with it or something. So, yeah, just, just try and take them out as quickly as you can. I may decide to use Water Jutsu on some enemies, like those green dragons, but probably not. I don't think they hit that hard. Did the fairy say this is where the, uh, Jump Stone Eater first boss was? Uh, could be. The, uh, little hedgehog looking thing. Hey, don't use level 2 techs. I did that by accident. How did I use that, but it didn't clear my tech gauge? Huh, that's weird. Well, now I can't even use my level 1 tech. I am controlling Kevin, aren't I? Where the hell am I? Oh, there we go. I thought I was controlling everything. Yeah. A lot of the enemies here have elemental weaknesses that you can exploit if you've got, like, Angela or something. Like those needle hogs. I forget what they're weak to. Are they weak to thunder? I forget. Whatever. Well, there's still more enemies? Maybe there's... Oh, there they are. Okay, these guys won't counter. You can actually use level 2 techs here, and for the most part, you'll be fine. Wow, these guys are kicking our ass. Can we survive to reach the god beast? Find out next time on Let's Play Seeking Them Set to 3! I'm H.C. Bailey. I wonder what's in that chest. Signing off.
Have a good day.